Okay, so today I did a video on how I achieved these curls. Um, if you are like me, I used to always curl my hair, but it was never just how I wanted it to be. And now I feel like I have perfected the way I want and like for my curls to be. So yeah, I decided to show them with you. And I know like people charge legit like almost like six, seven hundred dollars just for curling classes. So I wanted to give you guys this for free because I got so many DMs on like from even from like family and friends. Like, how do you curl your hair? So I decided to make a video on it. It's super easy. It's super simple. It's just literally the motion of your hand. And yeah, when I used to ask Dallas like how they curl their hair, they used to always say that. And I'm like, look, I'm doing a motion and it's not coming out the way I want. But it's literally the motion of your hand. So, so yeah. yeah, the hair that I am wearing is from Nice Light. I am wearing that Body Wave and I am wearing it in all 18 and an 18 inch closure. So, um... Yeah, this is pretty much how the hair is looking. I did cut hair, cut layers into this hair. Um, don't get any shedding, no tangling, no nothing. And I curl this hair all the time. I never wear the hair straight or anything like that. I have it always curly and I never have any tangling. I never wake up the next day and I'm like, ooh, I look like I have a bird's nest on my head. Um, I can literally pull, uh, pin my hair up and put it under a bonnet the next day. I'll still have curls. I might have to touch up a few, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll leave all the information about this hair listed down below so that you guys can check it out. I don't want this intro to be super, 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 super long. So yeah. On to the video. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so to save some time, I just went ahead and curled one side. Um, you guys saw how I just laid my lace down and everything like that. So the hair, I didn't wash all of the hair. I pretty much just washed like, I always wash like the lace and like the top portion. Just because it always has like product in it from like the glue. Or not the glue, but the gel and makeup and stuff. So that's why you probably see... Just a little bit of curl still left in here but this part is like super straight so yeah um i'm going to show you guys how i curl it um it's super simple um uh, i'm just going to section off in the back first of course starting with the back and i take like medium sized pieces just because i don't want it to be super like i like a lot of curls so that i can have just a lot of body so, let me make sure my hair is tucked in. So, I'm just going to comb this out with a rat tail comb. And this is pretty much the size that I use. So, the flat irons that I'm using are by Baby Bliss. And this, these are how they look. Um, yeah, I got them from Sally's. And so, when you curl it, I start at the top. And then I want to curl away from my face. So I begin to twirl the curling iron and making sure that the hair, as I'm making sure I'm pulling the curling wand as well so that it doesn't leave like any indentations in my curls. And then I'm just constantly twirling the wand. I'll pull it, twirl, twice, pull. And then once I get that last one, I'll twirl, release. 
So there I have one curl. Now don't worry, the curls, of course, as you see on the other side, aren't gonna always be this uniform. You don't have to pull your curls apart. I like to pull mine apart. And yeah. So I'm gonna do it again. When it's super wide like this, I like to break it into two. And then once again, I'm gonna start at the top. And I'm going to start twisting, making sure that I'm bringing the hair over. Pull, twist. As I'm twisting, I'm pulling as well. Pull, twist, pull. Twist, pull, and then twist, and then bam. The curl will kind of, the, the curling iron will kind of let you know when it's time to like release it and when it's you know, especially towards the end. So yeah, I'm just pretty much doing the same thing over and over and over. curling away from my face. Now, if I had a side part, whichever side my bank isn't on, I would curl towards my face just because I like, that's how I like for my curls to lay if I had a side part. But when I have a middle part, I like for my curls to be away from my face. It's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of speed through the rest of this until I get to the top portion and I'll show you what I do when I get up there. Also, before I start speeding through it, I don't have any products in my um, hair. I never really use spritz just because my curls kind of last. And if you really want them to last at night um, and you don't want to walk around smelling like spritz, pump it up spray, you can just um, flexi rod your hair or uh, pin curl it. I would definitely recommend pin curling because sometimes flexi rods can kind of make the hair super, super tight. And when you comb it out, it can kind of start looking like a bird's nest. So I would definitely recommend pin curling the hair.
curls before I comb them out. This is how they look. So now I'm just going to take a super, super wide tooth comb and I'm just going to begin to pick out the curls like so. Then I'm going to take the comb, comb my hair back, push it forward. I'm going to do this a few times just because I like to get it exactly how I want it. So I do have layers cut in my hair. Um, you don't necessarily have to cut layers in it. You just have longer. The the longer your hair is, the just the curls will just fall differently. So yeah. The only thing is, if you are planning to wear your hair straight, the hair just might not look right with layers in it. At least not to me it doesn't.